Hey there guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Now today I'm going to be teaching you how you can remove watermarks from your photos. Well, they wouldn't exactly be your photos because I don't think you would add a watermark. But the photos that you um, are going to use. So if you've ever been in a situation where you like a photo, you want to use the photo, but it has some small discrete watermark like so. But no worries, because today I'm going to be showing you how you can remove that with Photoshop's Photoshop CS5. So the first thing you want to do with your picture in Photoshop is you want to go to the mag uh, what is it? The Quick Magic One tool. That's the one. I get confused between them two. And you want to alter your tolerance depending to the background. This may be a trial, trial and error process. I'm going to use 50, just so it really gets in the edges and doesn't leave as much white towards the back so you just want to select in the letters you want to hold down shift so you can go towards each letter now if if you on it on each character just say the W only fills in half of the W just hold shift and keep filling around the rest of it you can zoom in if you want just go into the zoom in tool there and I'm just going to do use the water for now but we have that selected now you want to go do the rectangular marquee tool now you want to do is right click in any part of the text that you just highlighted and go to fill. Now we're going to be using the content aware fill which is the new feature of Photoshop CS5. To so just use content aware fill, normal and 100%. So just click OK. It may take a while or not a while as it just turned out. But there we go. You notice that it's obviously not perfect if you zoom in there. There's maybe some white edges on the background but when you have a look at it with normal pixels, it's it's decent. You you would barely notice it. I mean, especially this is helped by the fact that um, this is water and sand, so you know anything can happen. It's all it's all wavy and it's not consistent. But we've still got the big mark tool. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that there because I like mark on my um, photos. I love you, mark. But yeah. That is how you can remove watermark from your watermarks from your photos. Like I said, it's actually going to be not your photos. It's going to be photos that you obviously got from Google Images or someplace else. But now you can remove the watermark and claim them as your own. So thank you for watching this video, guys. Uh, please remember to like, uh, comment if you have anything to say. And also remember to subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.